Hi, I'm Ann Shea in the news. During announcement today, company leaders at the General Motors Bedford powertrain plant said they will see more than $110 million in investment in the next three years, which will add around 250 jobs to the payroll. Bedford workers will create components for a new small block engine that's designed for improved vehicle fuel efficiency. The current processes that we're in the process of deploying right now with an investment that was announced in 2006 are some of the most advanced die casting technologies in the world. Now we'll have this new semi-permanent mold process that we'll be putting in, which is an advanced technology and a key core pro process for us in the casting business. The move is part of $890 million in new investment the company is sending to five North American plants, which will create and retain 1,600 total jobs. GM will receive tax credits for the investment. They're performance-based, and unless the company performs and creates the number of jobs they say they will, they will not be given the tax credits. So it's a good bang for the buck for Hoosiers. It's just wonderful news anytime you can bring good quality, high paying union jobs into your community and your state. But don't expect a local workers to fill the positions. Laid off GM workers from plants around the country will be given an opportunity to apply first. A special investigator has been appointed to look into a tasing incident by Martinsville police officers. David Powell will decide if charges are appropriate. Captain William Jennings and patrolman Darren Johnson were called to the tender Teddy's daycare on a report of the 10-year-old boy being out of control. Jennings allegedly slapped the boy who was cursing at him and Johnson used his taser to stop his actions. A state lawmaker is trying to outlaw the synthetic marijuana-laced incense called Spice. It's an herb laced with a compound said to be 10 times more par powerful than marijuana. Representative John Barnes Monday announced plans to introduce legislation in the 2011 General Assembly to ban it. Kansas became the first state last month to outlaw spice. In the forecast, clear lows in the mid-30s, tomorrow sunny highs in the lower 60s.